Ryan. Oh, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goals. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 637, NASDAQ's up 245, S&P's up 83, gold contract up $18.30, trading at 1888 an ounce. You get silver up 22 cents, $22.89 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $594, $108.35 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 18 ticks, trading 119.03. The 30-year up 13 ticks at 140. 12 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down uh, 875 ticks, trading 102.590. The euro is out here at 106. The yen is at 128.95. And the British pound is trading out at a price point of 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So, Let's talk about Powell first. Powell came out. He's, the news conference is still going on. 50 basis points. That's what we went up. And pri in the news conference, okay, you're gonna, I'll put this S&P up for you so you can see how this shook out because this is pretty wild. The question, you know, bottom line inside of the conference, what I'm explaining, folks, is how uh, and, you know, when this basically uh, took off like a rocket ship. And, you know, you had the S&P was down at uh, 4146. And bottom line, we're 110 points over that right now. And what the question was, is that was 75 basis points on the table. And Paul answered that not only 75 basis points was not on the table, that they had not even discussed it. And uh, <laughs> the market took off. Now, bottom line, as I man, Mr. Basil Chapman would say, uh, the day is young. Uh, but it, you know... This market should hold. If this market, if this market doesn't hold out here today, uh, this will be a real disaster for a lot of folks that just bought it, unfortunately. But that's kind of how this is set up. Now, if we get, get into the market and we take a look at it, we take a look at the SPY first. What you're looking at is that we're up 7, uh, 8, 840. Uh, you get volume out here of uh, 92 million. That's going to say we're going to be due 110, 120 million. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we're going to have to because you're coming into 132 million. NDX 100. Now that the NDX 100, they, they are buying that uh, hand over fist at this particular point. The that's up seven dollars thirty one cents. Eighty nine million is the number. And as I said when we were, we were doing just this update, what you do have here is that this has broken the downtrend from the last leg down at 247. So this is going to get intriguing to see that, okay, bottom line is that uh, can it get up uh, into this swing point? And, you know, we'll, we'll know a lot more basically when it's follow through. The reason being is that you have a swing point out here of 98 million. So the NDX should be able to do that in a heartbeat. Now, if it can't do that, that's going to tell us quite a bit also. I mean, if we, if we have a situation that in the next hour – that you can't do another 10 million, um, that'd be problematic. You know, I, I don't think we're going to have that, but I'm bringing it up so they can give you a heads up as to where we are in this market. Gold contract. We have the gold contract. Bottom line, what it had done, it, it rejected lower price as it had come back to its breakout area. Bottom line, it looks like we're going to have a sign of strength today. And the sign of strength, bottom line, it looks like no, we're not going to, because we know what's going to happen. The gold contract's still not going to have enough volume. It's 143,000 contracts out here. Um, we need like a couple hundred thousand contracts, and we're not going to get um, 60,000 contracts in the next hour. So we'll see where this shakes out tomorrow. What we do have is that you're inside 1889, which is, which is a good deal, because uh, it's getting closer to 1891. Is it 91? It's 1893 that it has to 
if it gets up to that point, that gets you in the higher range. You know, once we dropped out of that range, bottom line, now you got to get, get back inside of that range. If we go into the silver contract, we take a look at uh, SIH. We t no, SIH, no, SIH. Oh, excuse me, folks. We take a look at the silver contract. Right now, silver's trading. Uh, so one second, sorry about this. SI, let's get the right contract. That'll be a good start. Come on, baby, where are you? Where are you? Okay, here we go. Silver, we're up 26 cents. You're at 22.95. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a good number. Hasn't, if we can get up a little bit higher, that's where you get the break of the downtrend that we've been in. And uh, you get a little follow through. It, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to bring that line down just yet, but get a little bit higher, you're gonna be able to do it. And good old King Dollar. So what you do have with King Dollar finally is that you get slight pullback. You know, we're back 806 ticks. And the real question is if we get follow through on the other side, then guess what? That just may be the triple top inside of the King Dollar. Because if we take a look at this, we bring this up, we put this on a much longer chart, what you're gonna see, it's been hanging at these highs, man. I mean, and the longer that you uh, hang at highs, the more probability that you can take it out. So when we actually, when I actually put that up, like, you know, like if you're watching Tiger TV, you know, you could almost say that, hey, you're still at highs. But right now we're about 800 bucks off of highs. We got to take a look at the bond market. What do you have with the bond market, the 10-year right now? Bottom line, the 10-year is up 18 ticks. Uh, and this bounce here, let's see what we have. You get 1.4 million contracts. Yeah, I suspect that's that's going to be just a dead cat bounce. Yeah, you can have light volume. Stay right there, folks. Coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading up 700. NASDAQ is up 294. S&Ps are up 95. We're coming right back.